Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh is a retired physician, founder of a national organization called Health Watch USA. He joins us now. Good morning, Dr. K. Uh, good morning, Jack. Good to have you with us. Now we've got a new subvariant of the subvariant. What the heck? That's correct. The more we spread it, the more it mutates, and in this case, it recombinates. In other words, the two viruses swap genomes instead of having a random mutation occur. And this is the BA2.12.1, or as some people call the BA2121. This arose in central New York State. It's more infectious than Omicron. It's more infectious than the BA.2. And cases are rising, and unfortunately, so are hospitalizations. And this is occurring up primarily in the Northeast, but this is fast spreading. And I think with, unfortunately, the new ruling on mass transportation, it's going to spread quite rapidly throughout our nation. It seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems to me every new variant or sub-variant that comes out is more contagious than the last, but also less severe than the last. Is that an accurate statement or not? I think it is up until maybe this one. This appears with the hospitalizations to be holding its own. And we kind of saw that with the BA.2 with hospitalizations in the United Kingdom. So as our immunity builds up, this virus may become less and less severe, but it's highly dependent upon the immunity of the person. And if you're not vaccinated, you're going to be at risk for getting a pretty severe infection. The reason is, is that you've had an infection gives you a very, well, just a extremely variable degree of immunity in people. Some real well, some not so well. Vaccination is more consistent. And as you know, and we've talked many times before, if you've had an infection plus a vaccine, that oftentimes gives you super immunity. So prior infections don't count. I mean, let's face it, Jack, everybody has some antibodies to this thing, whether it's through vaccination or infection. And yet we're on a course now for having another surge, maybe a small surge, but we just can't keep having those every four to six months. We need to get this virus to quit mutating, and we do that by quit spreading the virus. So that means we have to follow public health advice not turn our backs on it and go the other direction. What uh, have we learned about unvaccinated children? Well, unvaccinated children right now, they have twice the rate of going into the hospital as those that are vaccinated. Now, granted, hospitalizations are rare in children, but they still occur. And when you say rare, they occur more frequently with this disease, with Omicron, than they do with many other childhood illnesses that we vaccinate children for. Because if a child winds up in the hospital, that's a whole life that can be affected through many, many years. And it's just a, a tragedy. So I really think that we need to get our children protected. We need to get our elderly protected. And we need to start wearing masks. And I mean high quality masks, N95s or KN95s, the people and leaders who you hear saying, oh, masks aren't any good, they're talking about the cloth masks. N95s, KN95s are readily available, and they will give you a layer of protection. And so that is important to use. Now, we got some multi-strain COVID vaccines that might be coming. Can you talk about those? Well, yes. And we haven't seen any data, but they are encouraging now, it may not be to the current variant, you know, we're always a vaccine behind, but if you do get a multi-variant vaccine, in other words, it has multiple viruses in it, it will give you a much better immunological response. It has greater breadth and will be able to attack the current variant that you're encountering. And so those I'm very encouraged for, and I think that will be our next major breakthrough in the fight against these viruses. Until those become available, I think we're going to be kind of status quo, where high-risk people are going to unfortunately be at continued risk, especially on public transportation, and we're going to need to continue to not only get vaccinated, but to wear a mask and follow public health advice.
Always uh, good to hear from you, Dr. Kevin Kavanaugh. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much, Jack.